I just published the latest video, the Cramorant V-Box. If you haven't seen it, go take a look. And I did a Ponita raid and finally got this. <laughs> oh yeah, a shiny Galarian Ponita. That took about 20 raids, I think. Um, I haven't done a lot of them. I've done quite a few of the research tasks and whatnot, but there you go, baby. <laughs> Finally, and we're a couple hours away, or an hour and a half away from, what do you call that, the, the Swab Blue Calm Day. So, good way to start the day. Okay, bye. Okay, happy, um, happy Calm Day, Swab Blue Calm Day. As you can see, I'm not outside yet, and that's because I've been on the phone with family. It's um, 11, almost 11.30 right now. So I didn't realize that not only is today Swablu Day, today is the day that my nephew graduates high school. So I'm gonna be sticking around the house. I'll just do some of this Calm Day stuff here. All right, let's see what Professor Willow has to say. Hello there, Degato. Why's he gotta be calling me out? I was, I was just taking a moment to admire the weather here. Blue skies abound with, with the fluffiest of clouds floating by. Well, it's getting kind of cloudy over here. I'd love to just kick back and enjoy the tranquility of it all, but I've observed, observed some of the clouds moving rather strangely. Believe it or not, I believe some of them are actually flapping. Yes, like birds. The first few times I saw it, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. But as the motions grew more frequent, I began to suspect a Pokemon was involved. Mind going on a little jaunt to see what we can discover, what you can discover? Why don't you do it yourself? Power up a Pokemon 10 times. Catch 15 Swablu. Make 10 nice throws. That'll get you 2,000 Stardust. A Pokemon appears probably a Swablu and an Incense. Sweet, I can use an incense. All right, I'll take care of this. All right, we, we, me, me, I. <laughs> I finished the first page, so let's claim the rewards. 15 Pokeballs, 10 Pineapps, probably a Swablu. Yep, a Swablu. No shiny yet, which is fine. I mean, I already have one, so I don't have to worry about that. Unless it's a good IV, right? Man, well, I, was, I was just not even paying attention throwing there, was I? And caught Swablu, yay. Um, there is Mega Alteria raids going on. Uh, I'm, I, I'm assuming soon, fairly soon, who knows? But <clears throat> haven't seen one yet. The best moves, uh, best moves, best Pokemons to use are Mega Gengar, Mega Obama Snow, anything like that. Ice types and sludge, sludge is poison, so poison types, you know, for, for Mega Alteria. It just looks like a big cloud, <laughs> that's what it looks like. But hopefully I can get some of those Mega Energies so that I can evolve my 100%-er. That'd be good. All right, let's see what the professor has to say here. Welcome back, trainer. What have you discovered? I discovered there's a lot of blue Pokemons. Ah, Swablu, the cotton bird Pokemon. Hmm, it's all beginning to make sense. Is it? Swablu's cotton-like wings are so fluffy and white that, alongside their sky blue bodies, Swablu can be easily mistaken for clouds in the sky. Well, at least until you catch them flapping, eh? Ha ha. Yeah, look at the time there, Professor. <laughs> time for better jokes. Yeah, Swablu apparently love to sit on people's heads. They look like fluffy hats. Ah, and there it goes, right on your head. Good timing, Swablu. I've got a hat on my head. Fond as they are of their human perches, Swablu will take flight right away if their wings get dirty. Cleanliness begets comfort after all. A fascinating Pokemon through and through, don't you think? No, no I don't. Evolving Swablu takes some effort, but I assure you it's well worth it. I'm sure a trainer of your talent could gather the necessary candy in no time. I'd love to see its evolution in person, so could you evolve your Swablu for me? Be sure to use Pineapps to earn even more candy. Hmm. Catch 15 Swablu, transfer 10 Pokemans, 
use 15 pineapple berries while catching Pokemans. Gives you 1500 XP, a Pokemon appears, and another incense. Yay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Taking care of these remedial tasks for the second page of four for this Swablu Calm Day type thing. So this is the 15th pineapple that I had to use to catch a Swablu. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, not bad with the Swablu candy and the XL. Okay. All right, let's see what the uh, collect the rewards here. 100 candies for Swablu, 1,000 Stardust, and 15 Great Balls. Gives you an incense, 1,500 XP, and a Pokemon appears. Swablu. Wow. I mean, that's that's so curious. All right, catch you, little boy. Oh, oops, no, 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 boy. I didn't catch you. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Get in the ball. Good for your home. What was that movie? I forgot. I think it's an Adam Sandler movie or something. Hey, right. there we go. See what the professor says. Incredible work to God. Oh, there he goes calling me out again. Looks like you've been hard at work catching Swablu. Not really. Evolving Swablu is truly an act of patience, isn't it? Did I evolve? I didn't evolve one. Patience is often called a virtue in a broad sense, but it really is an integral part of being a great trainer. As the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. All your hard work will feel justified once you witness your darling Swablu evolve. Or of that, you have my word. Just one more leg of this journey left to go, Degato. There he goes calling me out again. Let's go! Where am I going? Alright, what do we got here? Make three great curveball throws, evolve one Swablu, transfer ten Pokemans. They're giving you a lot of dang candy. Okay. That, that's okay, here we go. <clears throat> alrighty, alrighty, dighty, arty, choky, yoki. Finish the third page. 100 Swablu candies, another 100 Swablu candies. And an incubator, yay. Begets me. A rocket radar, 15 Ultra Balls, and 2,500 XP. Welcome back, trainer. At least he didn't call me out this time. I see your efforts have paid off. Well done. Swablu's evolution, Altaria, is called the Humming Pokemon. It's known to wrap its wings around people it's bonded with, much like yours is doing right with you right now. I don't see no Altaria. And humming all the while. You know, people say that Altaria's humming could enrapture an entire audience with its beauty, and it's not hard to see why. You're truly an incredible trainer. I mean, that's, that's a given. Thanks for your help on this latest adventure, Degato. There she goes calling me out again. What's up, bro? I'll never get tired of learning more about Pokemon. You're the professor. You should know all this stuff already. Now let's go. Seriously, for being a professor, that that he does not know jack about Pokemon. All right, uh, pineapps and some kind of uh, XP. Three pineapps, okay, and a Swablu. <clears throat> oh, I did catch one off camera, the shiny. So not like <laughs> you've seen it all over YouTube and all that, and you probably got some your own. So. It's yellow, it's yellow. There we go. That's not a good uh, CP, is it? No. All right, that should be it. Isn't that it? Oh, no, I gotta actually collect the rewards. There we go, 3,000 Stardust. Three rare candies, and a Pokemon appears. Swablu, Altaria. Sweet. It's not a good IV. And there it is, gotcha. What is it? Two, three, three. Not like my other Altaria, which we'll take a look at over here. So this one, that was back in 2020, April 18th, 2020. It's got Dragon Breath, Dazzling Gleam, Sky Attack. Ooh, we should be able to give it a new move. Let's do that. What is it, just a regular um, charge TM? Uh, let's get rid of Sky Attack, wait. Doesn't go, well, we'll get rid of that. Oh, it's not gonna work, is it? Hmm. All right, well, that's that's my calm day. 
that's that's it. I, I really I was excited about getting the Swablus and more candy. I'm actually just looking forward to the Mega Altaria. Right now, there's nothing going on with the uh, Megas except for a Lopini, like right down the road. But I'm not gonna do that. I already got all the candies for that. I'll film later on this week while I'm on my trip. I think it's South Bend, Lubbock, and Billings. So got a lot of time uh, over for the overnights. So. going on uh, shamefully I have not filmed <laughs> for an entire week uh, since the Swablu community day I did do a four-day trip uh, I think I, I mentioned it was like Billings and Lubbock and all that but man that was uh, some four days are just too long too tough to film and I was just way too tired to do anything to film at all but I'm here in Baton Rouge Louisiana first time I think I've ever been here because all this area does not look familiar I don't, I don't think this is right here the Mississippi River um, let's do a little uh, history of Baton Rouge I think back in 1699 a French explorer named Pierre Lemonnier de Bay Iber, uh, <laughs> Iberville. I, I, I'm, it's, it's like D. Iberville, basically, but I don't think that's the correct pronunciation. Anyway, he um, was exploring here on the Mississippi River and noticed that there were poles stuck onto the edge of the Mississippi River, and they were painted red, uh, painted blood red, and so that's what. Baton Rouge means in French Baton is stick and Rouge is red so red stick that's basically the name of the city is red stick <laughs> red stick Louisiana it's also the capital of Louisiana so that's kind of cool another fun fact that I did pull up was that in uh, I believe 1993 the big uh, flood of the Mississippi River on the Missouri side the decommissioned what was it, Admiral Class uh, Fleet mine, mine Sweeper, it was called the USS Inaugural, uh, did sink on the, Mississippi, or the Missouri side of the Mississippi River. And so that, actually that sweeper uh, was commissioned, I think in, back in 1945 or 44, one of the two. And it was sent to Okinawa and Korea to sweep up mines basically for for the war the uh the world war ii basically so i'm just kind of chilling here in baton rouge for now and uh i'm gonna check out the poke poke stops and all that good stuff i really have not been working on the luminous y legend event uh i think i'm on page four maybe but i'm doing it so slowly it doesn't matter all right so let's go and take a look around all right here we go maybe even see the uss kit yeah, you can't see that screen. <laughs> anyway, there are a lot of focus stops around here. Check it out. Uh, all those stops that you see that have already been spun without the white ring, uh, that's the hotel I'm at right now. And over here, check out this building right over here. Look at that. One of these is the Old Capitol, Louisiana uh, building. I'm not sure which one it is. But I think right over here, the steamboat is a casino. Oh, and there's the USS Kid right there. The USS Kid's right there. So we'll go and check it out. Yay! All right, what's going on? So right behind me is the USS Kid. This is a Fletcher class destroyer. It was named after the first rear admiral killed in the attack of Pearl Harbor back in 1941. His name was Isaac Kidd. So they named this Fletcher class destroyer after him. And what's really cool about this, uh, this boat, this ship, this Fletcher class, if you will, is that it is still in the same configuration as it was back in World War II. 
Uh, right now, for the past 40 years, it's just been sitting here in, uh, in the Mississippi River as a museum. So they do change up some of the um, what do you call it? The, uh, the the stuff that they show in the museum, but it is to honor the veterans of all the wars that we've been in in the United States. But it's really cool. Check this out here. Right up there is a little uh, picture of a painting, if you will, of some black pirate, <laughs> some some pirate or something. I don't know. But it looks kind of cool. Right after it is a casino, a boat casino, a river riverboat casino. So I'm gonna go and check that out as well. All right, here we go. So still walking the streets of Baton Rouge downtown, uh, just inviting people to Yvetel raids. Kind of fun. You know, that's one thing I like about going to different cities is inviting people that I know from the raid groups, you know, to raids so that they can get a stamp of uh, the location that I was in. So uh, just did a Yvetel raid in Belgium. Only three people in the lobby and took it down with 100 seconds left. So not too bad, but yo man, the sights here are beautiful. Check it out. It's not New Orleans, it's Baton Rouge. <laughs> All right, well, uh, as of this recording, I'm at a Baton Rouge that was yesterday, all day, pretty much. Uh, but eventually ended up here, which is Milwaukee. Um, I'm about to leave probably about uh, an hour from now, so <clears throat> should be home later on tonight. If I don't film tonight, I'm gonna give you at least a preview of what I will be opening for the rest of this video. So you've seen it before, the Shinning Fatties, Bolton Tin, uh, TCG type of thing. Uh, this one is the one with the six different booster packs, if I remember correctly. And, and I mean, I, I can't read that. It, the font is so small in my old man eyes. And the next one that we are going to open is also this. Oh man, it already broke. Uh, the Shining Fatties Dedenne Pin Mad Hat Collector, Mad Party Collector thing above crap thing. How many, this one has three of the uh, booster packs. So yay for that. Also, one more thing that I'm going to open, which will be the first thing that I do actually open, is the League Battle Deck. The Inteleon VMAX uh, League Battle Deck. Basically what these are, you do get these two promo packs, or promo cards, not promo packs, two promo cards. But this actually has a complete deck for you to actually battle with. Uh, apparently when you are battling in, in the TCG you do have 60 cards in your hand as as your battle deck so that includes all your Pokemon your energies your supporters trainers blah 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 and all that stuff and this right here this back right here tells you how many uh, of what card is in this box but a little fun fact about this um, this was supposed to come out May 21st and I was at Walmart May 20th, and they had about five of those out there with the uh, the Galarian Punita promo pack that I'd already opened. So I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to pick that up. And then I went over to the uh, local game store and uh, asked them, hey, so what Pokemon thing is coming, what Pokemon TCG thing is coming out on the 21st? They had no idea, but I looked up online that night and it was this. So. Walmart actually jumped the release date. So anyway, that's what's gonna go on for the rest of this video. I am so sorry that it has taken so long for this video to come out, but it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out, all right. 
All right, I'm finally back home. Uh, this is actually my one day off before the next four day trip starts. So uh, I'm gonna do this just without a script. I'm just gonna look at these boxes. The first box, like I promised, is going to be the Pokemon League Battle Deck box. Let's see what's inside. And well, I kind of told you what was inside last, last time I was filming. And that was in Milwaukee. Okay, wow. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, what is this thing right here? This. Uh -huh. Welcome to the League Battle Decks. These decks feature a great combo of strategies and all that good stuff. Okay, so basically they're saying, hey, if you bought this, here's some other Battle League cards, uh, deck cards that you can buy to make it more gooder. All right, and here is the trading card game rules. I think we did see this in all the other like elite trainer boxes and whatnot so <clears throat> there you have it and right here you can't get the zoom all right right here we've got all the promo cards so let's take a look at it you get two of these inteleon v's Looking kind of dope. Uh, not my favorite starter from Sword and Shield. But hey, it's a promo thing. So there's the Inteleon VMAX. And that I, I like that one. It's nice and shiny. And it is textured. So let's see. Ah, I'm dropping everything today. This one has a Hydro Snipe at 60 and a Max Bullet 161 and a 320 HP. Okay comes with these die, not as uh, metallic as that one, you know, from the Sashian and Zamazenta one that we have. This one's kind of cool, but you know, there you have that. Okay, I'm gonna be sh putting up uh, other footage of Pogo, basically, um, while I'm doing this opening and whatnot, so you can take a look at that kind of stuff you know while i'm here okay there's some energy you got a great ball uh, everyone loves adding this money card to their deck so the uh i'm assuming sabo is the unevolved form of inteleon so i think you need to start off with sabo maybe i'm not sure but and then there's Drizzle, so Sabo into Drizzle into Inteleon. So there you go. There's the full evolution line of Sabo and Inteleon or whatever. Okay, and there's Snom. These are some of the things that we have seen before. Galarian Zigzagoon, another Inteleon. So I guess these 60 cards, if I, if I use uh, these cards, maybe... I would be able to do a battle in training court. This kind of reminds me of the same thing that my buddy Tree Mo True Moxie got me back on Christmas, which was the battle battle deck start or something like that with the Charizard and the Pikachu on it, and it had the uh, the play mat, play, players mat, and all that. Capacious bucket. <laughs> okay, what is that? Professor Research. Yeah, it looks like this is a starter deck go so I guess if I could use some of these supporter cards and what have you make it into a deck that could be playable not viable playable you know whatever but, okay here's the next one that we're going to do is the shinning fatties with the Dene pin mad party pin collection and it's already been broken but I think that's just because of the fact that I kept it in my suitcase <laughs> while I was traveling, and so, you know, that's going to happen. So, in regards to Pogo, uh, I did... Oh, I guess I already told you, I got that shiny Punita, yeah, so that, yeah, that's in the, that's in the film, or in the, in this video, isn't it? And then I finally evolved Pen Cham to Pen Goro, caught the what is it 32 dark types or what have you and that was that was nice yeah i'm walking him right now he's not that great he's not that great in battle 
but uh, there's the Dene's pin. There you go. And there is the last one of the Mad Party Hat collection that I need, which is the Dene. And look at that background. It is so nice. It's not textured, but just the, the shininess of it. it. Looks really good. Anyway, then we've got these three guys. Code card, if you will. Whoops, that didn't work out. Code card, if you will. Okay. And so we got Corviknight, Dragapult, and Toxtricity. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. And I hope you enjoyed the Baton Rouge part of the trip. That was kind of really, not kind of, that was really fun to actually go to a city that I haven't been to uh, before. I've done turns. Uh, to Baton Rouge as like a penalty lap or something like that and you know I you know what I mean by penalty lap right it's just that on the on the last day of the trip whether it's day three or day four we start off from whatever city we start you know overnighted in go back to Dallas technically we should be able to go home but then they say oh you're gonna go now dallas to baton rouge dallas to tulsa something like that you know so we call that the penalty lap gotta go out one more time and usually they are sh shorter hey haha <laughs> lapras v is that shiny that is shiny it's a little purplish isn't it hey it's shiny yeah and a hollow luxray cool 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 and yeah, so I had to do the, uh, the, the penalty lap and what have you. And uh, But anyway, Baton Rouge was dope. I'd love to go back and go and see that. We're going to open up Dragon Pool next and go see that place a little bit more, especially not on a Sunday because Sunday happens to be the day that a lot of restaurants are closed. And there was this restaurant that I wanted to go to right next to the hotel, which is actually called Poor Boy Lloyd's, and they actually specialize in po boys. The menu looked great. I did end up getting a po boy anyway, but I am learning to meal pack a little bit better, uh, pack my meals a little bit better. That's a better way of saying it. And so uh, I just finished a little while ago for this next four days, starting tomorrow. The, I, I, I meal prepped a lot more. There you go, shiny Galarian Farfetch, which we've already pulled before. Oh! <laughs> a Rainbow Rare Al Creme VMAX. I don't think I've pulled this one yet, but yeah, there you go, baby! Okay. It's a 310 HP. It's got G-Max Whisk, 60 plus, and Adornment. But okay, there you go. But this also reminds me, uh, I wanna give a shout out to, I think, I believe he's a viewer, maybe a subscriber, uh, Hey Hey Mikey over there in Arizona. He uh, contacted me on Discord and said, hey, I ended up pulling the shiny Charizard from Shining Daddies. So hey, hey Mikey, congratulations to you on that great, awesome pull. Very rare. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to pull that one. Especially, uh, I haven't been seeing a lot of uh, Shining Fates type of stuff in the stores. And you know, now Target's not doing that. I went to Myers over in Milwaukee yesterday, last uh, yesterday morning, while I was waiting during my over overnight and they had absolutely nothing in what do you call it pokemon cards and there's a reverse hollow fossil and oh, well, another one yo 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 cramorant v max not shiny but i'll take it it's full art and it's a 320 with a what is that max jet okay cool look at that all right cool i like it i like it i like it, I like it. And then also uh, earlier today, I went to uh, my my local Walmart. Here's the last thing, the final thing that we're gonna do, and nothing for shitting fatties. So, be right. Back. All right, just wanted to open the plastic for this tin of the shitting fatties Bolton V, and there it is right there. Well, you know what? Let's just open it up because that's what we're gonna do on this channel, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. 
So inside, we've got the promo card right here. And I'm figuring this out. There's a backside to this thing. And there's a code card right there. Hey, cheers. And there you go. A shiny Bolton. Bolton, who is the evolved form of Yamper, which is a Corgi Pokemon. So props to Niantic, no, not Niantic. Props to Pokemon Company for making a Corgi Pokemon. I do like that. And then inside the box, this is it right here. Six different type of cards, booster packs. You got Dragapult, Charizard, Corviknight, Tostricity, Dragapult, and Charizizi. All right, so since we got two of these, we'll boom, and then boom, 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 boom. Okay, 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 okay. Let's open these cards right quick. Here we go, we got that one, two, three, four. Haven't done the card trick wrong yet. Anyway, as far as Pogo goes right now, we are in the midst of a Sylveon has debuted. I think I might have some footage. If I did, it's gonna be here. Uh, I, I evolved my shiny one, my, my highest IV shiny. And I just did the name trick, which is Kira. And I think I said that before in another video, but there you go, baby. Real a boom V Max Shiny Full Art. Ha hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's got a max or uh, it's got an HP of 330. Uh scratch is 50 and max beating 130, but it takes three grass energies and a one colorless energy. Okay, and a thievel again. A uh, hollow. Yeah. yeah uh, all right. And then what else do we got? Oh, the shiny Galarian Zigzagoon is also now in the game. However, today was quite a rainy day here in Tejas. And so I haven't really gone out that much uh, as far as going to the park or anything like that. Just, yeah, I, I, I've, I've had stuff to do. I've got to get ready for the four day trip, which also I'm going to Chihuahua, Mexico on the third day. So that means I actually can't bring all the food. So that means I meal prepped basically for the first two days. There you go. A reverse hollow yawn mega and a boss's order. Okay. Now the great pull there with the Charizard on the cover. Toxtricity will be next. This is going to be a very long video. <laughs> I do apologize for not being able to record. There are times, y'all, okay, there are times that working, flying that much, there's just no energy, get it? Energy. Uh, there's just, I don't have the time or I don't have the energy to be myself. <laughs> so, and the, the four day trip before this and then this last third day trip, there are delay after delay, there's my beautiful favorite card right there of Eevee just swimming in the water being free as Eevee can be and yeah it just it's it was a very taxing I guess seven days all together there you go a reverse hollow rusted shield and a Zarude the most non rare rare card Ugh. okay there you go Dragapult I'm gonna be slowing down on the card openings just because what really made me happy i think the past week of filming was filming in baton rouge going to a different place and just kind of telling you all about the history or whatnot it's the things i find interesting about that area so i think i want to get back more into that because this is degato travels and you see me mostly in rooms <laughs> not traveling reverse hollow horsey and an indeedy holographic so I think I just need to get back out there. I was watching some of my old videos, of my traveling videos, and yeah, that's where I, I, I feel like the most comfortable, so to speak, you know? And it does cost money to travel, but someday soon, hopefully the rental car companies will get cars back so that we can rent them at a decent price. Hello? That'd be nice. Snom, sitting on a bench, horsey, rally in the jungle, more Pekka, what are you, what is more Pekka doing anyway? Is it like eating, getting ready to eat some stew? I guess that makes sense because more Pekka is always either not hangry or hangry. This is the non-hangry form and I guess, okay, whatever. Spinarak in a jungle. 
There you go. A shiny Aracuda. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's a purple. I did not know that. I do not know the all the shiny versions colors. So I guess, you know, that's that would be something if this ever come out came out in Pogo, I would be hunting. Last one is Charizzi. Shining Fatties. All the Mad Party hat collection is completed for, for my collection. So there you go. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of happy about that. I don't know what to do about the pins. Maybe I should put them on my hat or something. Nope. <laughs> and I did the card trick right for the whole entire video. <laughs> props, props, no props. Okay. Flotzel, Buizel. Wow. Buizel and Flotzel. Okay. And Nicket, Cacnea, Kufant, Eevee, Reverse Hollow, Rotom, and there you go, Volcanian. That should be, that should come out someday soon, shouldn't it? Isn't that like Gen 6 or something? Or Gen 5? Volcania? All right, this concludes finally the end of this video. If you like this video, click on the like button, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, let you know I came out with another video for y'all. See you next time, hopefully soon. Peace.